All right, hello and welcome. My name is Garrett. Today we're going to walk through electric guitar Waymaker parts. I'll have two keys. Uh, I'll play through it in the key of E, and I'll also play through Waymaker in the key of A. The reason I play through both is because to move up or down a ton to get to A, staying in the same shapes, just doesn't sound as great, and it's sometimes unfeasible. So I'll show you some shapes in the key of A that you can also use in a key closer to A. Look at this wheel, the circle of fifths. Find the key that you're playing Sunday. Follow the tutorial that is closest to that key. So for example, if you're playing in the key of D this week, follow the key of E and just move all those patterns down two frets. If you're playing in the key of B, then I would use the A tutorial and move it up two frets. Again, following the circle of fifth. So find the tutorial that's closest to the key you're doing this Sunday. And then a quick note, um, I will have charts showing the notes that we're playing, their patterns. I numbered them, so if they have a star, that's where the one of the key is. Key of E, then that star represents an E note. The three is the third of the key. The four is the fourth of the key. Five is the fifth of the key, so on. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with key of E, the original key. The intro starts with just swells. All right, it's a pretty simple part there. The next part is verse one. For light verses doing this arpeggiated rhythm. Next part, as the verses start to build, you've got a uh, similar to the last pattern except for we're throwing a third on at the top and it's going to be a straight groove. <laughs> carries through all the way as the verse is building. Then we're going to go into the chorus lead line. So that's it for the lead line for the chorus. Now for the bridge, it's got some two note chords. And that's it for key of E. It's just five parts, so um, loop those as it builds, as it descends, and all of that. Right now we're going to move to key of A. All the same parts, we're going to shift up a string. Uh, and the positioning will slightly change, as you'd notice in those charts. So we're going to start with the swells in key of A. So that's it for the swells. Then we go to an arpeggiating part and it goes up and back down. Alright, so that's the part from those low verses. Now as it starts to build verse, going into chorus, it does a similar pattern except for adds a third on the top. So we're actually going to move our pattern for these keys down a couple strings so we can add that third of a string. And you'll hear it's a straight groove pattern. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right. 
after that, we go into our lead line chorus. So that's it for the chorus. Now we'll move to the bridge. It's going to be sort of two note chord drives throughout the whole thing. So that's it for the parts. As the song uh, builds, descends, you can sort of substitute those parts. So as it dies down to verses, feel free to start doing those swells again. As it starts to build back up, you can do that verse drive. So I hope this is helpful for you playing Waymaker. Again, depending on what key you're playing Sunday, use the circle of fifths to find your closest key, uh, either E or A. Uh, learn those parts, and then just shift accordingly. This is my first of these uh, electric tutorial videos, so if you have feedback or things that you think would be helpful for learning electric and you know all these different keys, I'd be welcome to feedback, so please uh, leave comments on things that would help you learn electric better. Awesome, hope this helped. Have a great rest of your day.